Hello, my name's Tris and this is Double O'Neill. On this episode, we've been building up the fiddle yard. And what's the fiddle yard for? Well, it's part of the narrow gauge build that I've been doing for the Statfold Barn Model Railway Show, which is in association with Tony's Trains of Rugby. Tony is a co-organizer of the event and he invited me to come and build a layout to run at the show and I thought why not let's have a go I would argue it's been kind of ah, it's occupied a bit of my spare time and I've been quite busy with work and just general life so fitting in where I can it's made my evenings pretty fun pretty long but very enjoyable the fiddle yards are on each end you have four modules that are between it which have scenics on so for this module it wasn't too bad it's taking me a day to build this i reckon about eight hours which was a bit of faffing around having a break for lunch that kind of thing but we got two of these together they're mirrored each side so i thought let's just show you this one here let's go over the topics that are down here so the main feature of this um, is the fact that it's using bogies from the normal double O gauge you know the normal main line type track here which is a Hornby track I spoke to Dan Everson about this after seeing it at um, his place when I visited him um, earlier in the year I think it was earlier in the year um, and I had a really great time uh, going to visit him and I saw that one of the layouts had a traverser on it and I've seen traverses but the way he did it was using the bogeys um, from some coaches there so I went to Tony's trades of rugby I picked up a few of these bogeys apart from that I bought some wood from B&Q any hardware store will do and um, to do that and the rest of it was just using scraps and bits I had kicking around the beauty of this, if you have a watch here, we have a, a bent L-shaped piece of brass that goes through a brass tube. We slide this forwards here and I can pick up the track and it lines up very nicely with the track that's going out. Obviously if I go to the other end of things, I pick up this one and you can pop it in there. I've got a little handle here so you hold it in the centre, not in the end, and so you can move it around and pick it up. The negatives of this is you do get a little bit of wobble just here, but what I want to do is build maybe an extra set of alignment pins just on this other end. Underneath here, where the wires go in, the wiring is kind of a bit fun, a uh, bit funky at the same time. It's probably not the best job you've ever seen, but um, it should do the job. So underneath I've coiled up the wires, so they act a bit like a spring for the wires, so the wires shouldn't break hopefully, so it can just stretch forwards and backwards, not catch anything. And I, the only way, well not the only way, the way that I did it was wrap the wire around a screwdriver, and that was it, nice and simple. Um, the other bit I put in is a shelf here to put uh, items whilst we're there at the show to sit. We can put bits around, um, but it's nice to have things kind of out the way, isn't it? Uh, the other bit I've done here is I've got a piece of wood here. Um, being wood, uh, plywood, MDF, whatever it is, it's always going to have a bit of warping going on. So what I've done is I'm going to have a screw that can go through this board here. That will then screw into here and that will just pull that into place because it's just a small gap building, just these little things to neaten it up. So that was good. As for wiring, I haven't done it yet. I'm going to be doing all of the boards at the same time for the next episode where we get all of the boards together. The wiring is going to be simple. It's chocolate blocks and terminal blocks. It will just slot together really easy. Two wires coming around the back that you'll be able to see just here. And yeah, nice and simple. For the front here where we've soldered on, shouldn't do that should we <laughs> maybe we don't have it up at the show and people knock them around this is an older metal bodied one here drop that back on that I won't delete that you can uh, you can enjoy watching that as I knock things around with my big hands you so um, so I've used copper clad um, PCB board or a printed circuit board. It's not a printed circuit board, it's just copper clad fiberglass board. I've used that to do all the work. I've obviously had to insulate where I don't want power going. So just a gentle cut gone down between joints and everything, just so positives and negatives don't start touching each other. 
the hardest bit of this, I guess, was getting the right height. So I've had to um, use the board that I've got here and space it up using one, one millimeter um, five uh, foam X. Can't find my words at the moment. Um, but where you do get close, where you need that, let's say 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a millimeter, you can use bits of paper and things when you get under the track just to space it up. Because when you solder it on, you have kind of quite a lot of control to try and get these two tracks to sit correctly. Obviously, you don't want it higher, you don't want it lower, you don't want it offset each way. When I wanted to solder the track, so what I did first was I soldered the tube on, so then I have that location on there well. So it's quite simple. I put the tube in and then I lined up the track, not the other way around. I think you'd never get it right if you do it that way around. Or you just need to be better than I am, which is probably not too hard. The other bits, little touches, is putting little stops here to stop when these bogies are disconnected. When this comes back that way, just something to stop it falling off. And the same on the other end, I don't need to put buffer ends on, I just put a piece here to stop it falling off. Same as on here, but obviously you saw when I knocked it, it fell off anyway, but fine. Um, not everything's perfect in this kind of thing. But yeah, use PVA glue to hold most of it together. A bit of Yoohoo in other places, just where it felt like it suited. Um, yeah, so it's just bits of foam X, a bit of wood, and yeah, we've got a fiddle yard. My thoughts are that you'll always have another coach it's very hard when you do it from this way round I guess you guys are having the most fun anyway put that on there it's gonna be a fun video for you guys to watch the the view is that from the other end we're sending a loco in so we're gonna make sure that this this line is open so we'll just connect that up there and it will come in there then we'll have one ready to go pull out the slide slide that one in there knock that over because the loco will hit it that will go back off and out and then you can have your neck that one to be open ready for when the next one comes in so hopefully we can get a bit of a pattern going on the two days that i'll be at statfold barn on the second and the first of april um, i'll have my friend zach with me hopefully on the saturday and on the sunday my cousin tony um, so we'll see how it all goes if i'll work out what the issues are I'm yet to run all six boards together. I'm going to find that out. My plan is to do that tomorrow. Um, well, my tomorrow is very close to the show from what you're watching. Um, I don't have much time left to kind of get everything done that I'd like to get done, but that's okay. Um, I've had a lot of fun so far. Even if I have one loco going up and down, uh, fine. Um, I'll be really pleased. There came a point that I wasn't sure I was going to get this far um, doing this. Anyway, I've had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I've enjoyed sharing this journey along the way. So thank you for everyone watching so far. Um, all six boards are now completed, apart from the fact that we need to do the electrics, which is going to be very quick, I hope. Should be. Shouldn't be too hard unless I make it hard, but it doesn't need to be. It needs to be two wires going in and loop all the two wires together. But by the station, there's eight wires in total. You know, four positive, four negative. They're all going to the same point. Um, I just need to make sure nothing shorts out when it's going and that everything connects, track is clean. Um, and once that's running and working, maybe I can work on a bit of the um, uh, rolling stock. I've got lots of kits. I've got ones that probably need to be repaired now after knocking them down. Um, but you've seen where we've got to. You can see that we've got something that using bits of track. Thanks, uh, like I said, Tunnel A, Dan Everson uh, and his idea on that. Um, you can have your traverser for your fiddle yard so you can get organized and quickly change something over and off you go again hopefully you've enjoyed what you've seen let me know in the comments down below what you think comments and likes if you like it hit the like help grow the channel a lot um, if you aren't already a subscriber hit subscribe um, that's always a great thing I get to see a bit of growth in the channel it makes me uh, just get motivated to do the next one again uh, Thank you to the, the people that normally comment. Um, it's always nice having a read. I get lots of advice from people on what to do. I apologize if I don't always comment back. I'm normally next on the next layout, so I haven't always had a chance to get back and reply to everyone, so be patient with me. Thanks to my patrons and channel members as well. Uh, you guys have been good fun uh, talking to about this. Um, it's nice just sharing these things before they get out, so your support is very welcome. If you'd like to support the channel, 
you know you can if you like you don't have to <laughs> um, go and look in the link below for the patreon if not click on the channel member bits and join there um, if not uh, stay subscribed enjoy yourself and it'll be on here for another episode sometime soon see you later take care look after yourselves and bye bye